Right now at 6, there were no bath salts in a system of the so-called Causeway Cannibal. The toxicology report for Rudy Eugene has been released. Ever since Rudy Eugene's attack on Ronald Popo, there have been theories about what sparked Eugene to go on that bizarre attack. And very important information was just released today. Local 10's Glenn Milberg is live along the MacArthur Causeway where this all happened to tell us about it. Jen Kelvin, actually we learned very, uh, a very significant developments, at least two significant developments. The first is which there was only traces marijuana in Rudy Eugene's system. That's the only drug, according to the toxicology results released by the medical examiner. No traces of things like bath salt or LSD or anything that would cause some sort of psychotic frenzy. And the other thing we learned is that Rudy Eugene had been diagnosed as schizophrenic in the past, and we confirmed that today. And we now know that much more likely than drugs, this schizophrenic type episode or a mental illness was likely behind the behavior that we witnessed on surveillance tape Memorial Day weekend. You may have seen this, Rudy Eugene in a psychotic frenzy, a ravaging attack, chewed off much of the face of a homeless man named Ronald Popo, who I might tell you is now recovering very well. And in the days after, Rudy Eugene's parents that we talked to and the family acknowledged that Rudy Eugene did smoke marijuana, but they insisted even then that he never did any sort of other drugs. And they told us then he was never treated for mental illness. And that may be true, Calvin Jen, he may never have been treated for it, but we did confirm today that after one uh, misdemeanor arrest that he had, he was diagnosed as a schizophrenic. He was supposed to go for treatment. Whether he did or not, we don't know. But we now know tonight, based on that and based on the medical examiner's report, that what happened here, what he did here Memorial Day weekend, was much more likely because of a mental illness and not because of any sort of drugs in his system. And Glenna, given this new information, you have to ask, where did this whole bath salt theory come from? Well, I might say that Local 10 never reported on any bath salts theory, but I know so many places have, it's even nationally in the cable talk shows and locally, people were talking about bath salts. I think when you have sort of this absolute horrific behavior and frenzied attack and people are looking for what to blame it on, in the absence of information and in the void, people start to speculate. Uh, and that was one such speculation. Tonight we know that that was not the case. Glenna Milberg, live for us. Glenna, thanks a lot.